everybody, welcome back to Team Aquascape. Today, we have an incredible addition to a project that we built a couple years ago. So we're gonna take an existing ecosystem pond and make it even bigger, fester, everything else that you could think of. We're gonna be putting a new 6,000 biofalls on in addition to already a 2,500 biofalls. We are going to have a custom bridge built and shipped in once we are done with the project. This rock is going to set a peninsula right here. So this is actually gonna kind of swoop in and then come back around here. What it's also going to do is it's going to frame out the spillway bowl. And there you have the sexiness of the backside of a skimmer. Three bung holes. Pump, overflow, pump. Okay. First is removal of some of these elements like the bowls, skimmer, that kind of stuff was gonna be one of the first things we did. You can see the guys are working on that now. We've got our area covered up with plywood to protect the existing turf in through here. I wanted to take a second and show you this sump pump system that we are going to be reinstalling a few years ago. We put this in to help manage a lot of their stormwater that was becoming an issue for them. It's always wet in this area. So what we did was, is we ran a French drain along the front of the pond over along this side as well as we took the overflow from skimmer itself. Two inch pipe maybe right there. Anytime this pond fills up with water, the excess water comes down through the overflow pipe, fills up this sump pit, and then was being discharged through a sump pump that tied into this inch and a half line and then runs out to the street. So we are going to be moving this back over here behind me. The existing skimmer that the guys are working on removing is going to end up coming over into this area and through here. That's also where our pump vault and aqua blocks are going to sit for that secondary pump. We're going to be, again, demoing the pond from essentially here to there, exposing that liner, getting it clean. That's where we're gonna be seaming the two pieces of liner. And then we're gonna go 16 feet this way and about 11 feet this way, giving it a kind of a curvilinear look. So this sheet of plywood will probably come out, but for right now, while we're digging, we're gonna leave it because it's so gushy back here and very, very wet. You can see the tire tracks on this wet soil, it just sinks. So this is gonna give us some stability as we're pulling those wheelbarrows out with this heavy, heavy wet soil. So the second bowl out, that's where our 6,000 biofalls is gonna go. That plumbing will probably run around the front of the pond just to make it easy. We don't have a bunch of existing landscape that we would have to deal with. And then that river birch back there to try and fight the roots on that. So we'll probably run the plumbing for the new biofalls along the front side of the pond and tie it into the pump vault over there. And then we'll just extend the two inch line that's feeding the 2,500 biofalls from this way, going back this way to the skimmer. Now it's down to getting the pond demoed and we're gonna start digging once we do that. Then we'll get our new piece of liner in, get everything nice and clean and then start seeming. at a standstill as far as getting the pond excavated or the addition to the pond excavated. We sent both trucks out. Both of them were full with about four yards of soil piece. You can see we have almost the entire top shelf done. And then we went ahead and started on the second shelf. So we're about 16 inches of water depth at that level right there. But because we don't have any place to put the dirt currently because they're both our trucks are out getting rid of it, Corey and myself are starting to get this area prepped for us to do the seam for the new 20 by 25 liner that's going to be attached to the existing pond liner. So you can see we've deconstructed about the last three feet or so of the pond on this side. Rolled all those boulders and stuff in there. Got a bunch of gravel out of here. It is absolutely filthy, as you can see. So I'm going to come in here with the hose, kind of do a quick rinse of everything, flush it all down, and then we're going to come in here with some scotch Brite or scour pads and get all of this scale that's right in here on the liner off and get a nice, clean surface for us to attach that top liner to. So right now, just going to kind of be rinsing everything down, getting as clean as we possibly can. Then we will get probably a one by eight or something underneath to get a nice flat surface for us to lay the liner over and then we can get the liner primed get that double sided tape on so that we can get that top liner or that additional liner added on to. so most time we got this area done excavation wise we got our seam finished up we put the liner back in because it's looking like it may or may not rain so we just wanted to get kind of ahead of the game just in case it does that the the area underneath the pond the excavated soil does not get all saturated and gushy as we're trying to set rock in there so we wanted to make sure that we got this area covered up and prep for tomorrow but it feels great knowing that excavation is done as well as the seam those were the two really most time consuming parts of our day and with four of us i would say we made pretty good work of it so we're gonna button things up here and then call it quits and then we'll be back and hit it hard in the morning 
What is up everybody? Chris, it is the start of day two out here on this amazing pond addition project. Today's goal for the day is to make this pile of rock behind me disappear. Let me show you our access for moving this big pile of boulders right here and right through here. Everything's gonna be ball carted in this morning, which is fairly typical. Don't worry guys and girls, this gate does open a little bit wider so we can get those awesome AM Leonard ball carts in through here. But all the rock, every single piece, every single wheelbarrow of gravel, all has coming through here. And then here's our canvas. So a couple things that we need to do also today is one, get our skimmer installed, which is gonna sit over on this back corner and then get our 6,000 biofalls installed right over here. And then we can rebuild this waterfalls as well. I I think what we're gonna do to start this morning is just to focus on rocking in the pond, getting that skimmer set up, getting our plumbing done, and we'll worry about the waterfalls as one of the last things that we do. I want to really, really focus on the shape of this pond. We are going to have a custom bridge built and shipped in once we are done with the project. It's going to lead from the grass area over to kind of a bench area where that green ceramic pot is sitting on top of that piece of outcropping stone. So that eventually will be a spot for a bench so we need to make sure that when we are designing this pond that we need to account for the width as well as the length of that bridge other than that it's going to be really really an organic process really focusing on the shape making this pond as big as possible because the homeowner is wanting to add tons and tons more fish out here to enjoy this incredible transformation on their pond. All of you guys out there love to see what kind of challenges we are facing on a daily basis. I would say one of the toughest challenges today is going to be moving this enormous boulder right behind me into the pond over on that back side over there. So we are going to bring it from there to here and then roll it over there nice and gently, being very careful of the liner. But this is what requires all of the muscle, which is why we have Corey on there and Nick, I guess. But that's the biggest rock on the project right there and it's all going to be done by hand. No machines, this is the real deal, 100% muchacho muscle. It's because he had so much muscle on it. <laughs> to move the rock over there, I'm gonna film. How's that sound? Just like the Egyptians. The biggest rock on the project is now in. I know it's hard to tell what it is doing over here on this back edge, but this rock is going to set a peninsula right here. So this is actually gonna kind of swoop in and then come back around here. What it's also going to do is it's going to frame out the spillway bowl, which I think Nick is grabbing behind me that we are going to bring over and set it just to the right and kind of nestle it in underneath these hydrangeas. And then it's just gonna spill in this little area over here where there's about eight inches of water down here. And then we'll probably build like a little plant pocket for some irises or something inside the liner and then pull that cove back as far underneath that existing arborvitae hedgerow and that one hydrangea there. So that'll kind of go back that way. Our skimmer is going to go over there. Then we'll finish out a little section of wall. And then the big bowl is going to go over here on this shallow shelf area. And then that'll just kind of gravel beach out that way. I'm really, really happy with the progress we're making 
The bottom of the pond is completely rocked in. We've got some open areas underneath here that we're gonna have to figure out. This is where that bridge is going to be going. Here's Nick right here with the spillway bowl. Remember these two were existing from the original feature, but that bowl is going to nestle in very, very nicely. Let me change the view. We're gonna cut it down about six inches and it's gonna nestle in right in through there so it'll match up really, really well. And the top of the bowl will only be a couple of inches above existing grade outside of the liner. So really neat effect. We're gonna keep all this plumbing inside of the liner. So there will be a one inch line, flex PVC line going this way. Same from this bolt over here. And then we'll probably do our manifold somewhere over here. And then we'll either come up high over the liner, which we can definitely do back in this area because water level is all the way down here. So we should be able to come up high over in this little area back here or back behind the beach area on this bowl. So we'll see, but one inch plumbing going to all of this. And that is going to be fed partially from a five PL that sits in the skimmer. And then the rest of that water from the five PL will go to the 6,000 bio falls, which is going over there. So just to give you a little bit of in the pond perspective of what's happening and uh, we're gonna keep rolling. is getting rocked and it's getting rocked very very well we've got the mats down there kind of working on their respective edges Matt's doing a really nice job over here putting a nice contour on this shelf creating this kind of serpentine look you can see we've got the one bowl over there it's not gonna stay like that there folks we are gonna level it off but that's the area that it's gonna be in you've got the other mat over there finishing off the edge around that spillway bowl we are reusing their existing signature series skimmer Nick and I went ahead and pulled off the old bulkheads and we are going to be replacing them with brand new ones, which I have in my hands right here. So we're going to put actually three bulkheads on this thing. That will be the 5PL, and then on that side will be the 3PL. Now, if you remember earlier in the video, we talked about a overflow. There's a little dimple or indentation in here. What that is, is that is a guide for me to take my arbor bit from my three and a quarter inch hole saw, and then all three holes will all be in the same line. The middle one is going to be my overflow which will tie into that sump pump system. Shall we? This is, a, this is a three and a quarter inch hole saw, which will fit perfectly for our two inch bulkheads. Let me show you that. As you can see, that two inch bulkhead fits nicely through there. Rubber gasket on the inside of the skimmer box, plastic gasket on the outside, then we'll attach the collar nut. So that is the installation of the bulkheads. And there you have the sexiness of the backside of a skimmer. Three bung holes. Pump, overflow, pump. Okay. We are going to go ahead and wrap for day two on this project. We've got a pretty light day tomorrow. We still have to do a clean out. We still have to finish up waterfalls back over here, but the pond is completely rocked in. As you can see, Matt is kind of buttoning up the last little area next to this bowl. We've got the whole pond done, which feels absolutely amazing. We got a lot of cleanup to do. We still have to trench our plumbing going from the 6,000 bio falls back to the skimmer. Everything else, it's all just kind of button up work and tying up loose ends tomorrow. So it should be a pretty early day for us out here. So clean up, come back tomorrow, hit it hard, get out of here early, turn this thing into a kick-ass pot, all right? Yeah, man, rolling up another one. Yeah, man, rolling up another one.